So I'm Carrie Seltzer and I work for iNaturalist and my title is Stakeholder Engagement Strategist. So iNaturalist started in 2008 as a master's project at UC Berkeley. It seeks to connect people to nature through sharing their encounters with biodiversity and crowdsourcing species identifications. And one of the coolest things about that is that it means that if you see something that you think is cool, you can post it to iNaturalist even if you have no idea what it is. The City Nature Challenge now is, is effectively a global uh, four-day bioblitz. Since 2017, the Washington DC metro area has been participating and it's really just a coalition of willing organizations and volunteers I think one of the coolest things was last year, there's a high school student from Northern Virginia who found a salamander in Arlington County that hadn't been recorded in Arlington County since the late 70s. We wanna give credit to the organizers of the City Nature Challenge, who are some of our colleagues at the California Academy of Sciences and also their collaborators at the Los Angeles Museum of Natural History. All you need to do is download the free iNaturalist app, and then during the four days of the City Nature Challenge, which is April 30th to May 3rd, go out in your neighborhood and make observations of wild organisms. So we're more interested in the weeds that have volunteered in the sidewalk cracks than the street trees. You take a picture and you post it to iNaturalist, make sure it has the date, make sure that it has the location, and then it'll automatically be included in the City Nature Challenge project and the community will be able to help with the identification even if you don't know what it is. And we do also recommend if you're new to iNaturalist to get started right away. There's no reason to wait, start making observations, get the hang of it, and then you'll definitely be ready come April 30th.